Professor Hendrik van der Merwe was born on the 24th of June 1929, about 130 miles east of Cape Town in rural South Africa. He was brought up to be a Calvinist, someone who follows theological traditions of Roman Christians, and later in his life became a Quaker, a term used for a member of his religious society of friends. He grew up on a small farm, and growing up on the farm where he lived, Javier was often very racist towards those he found different. We talked to his daughter to find out about him. Javier was a peacemaker and mediator in South Africa. He came from an Afrikaner farming family in a small town in South Africa um, and helped to bring about the end of apartheid by bringing together the government of apartheid, which was an apartheid government, together with the ANC, which was the African National Congress, which had been exiled by the government and lived outside South Africa in the UK and in Zambia. Ah, he, um, he started off uh, being a missionary in Rhodesia, where he wouldn't shake the hand of the black teacher. But he then heard a chance remark by his older brother, who was a lecturer. Um, his older brother referred to a black woman as a woman. And my dad said to him, you mean maid? And my uncle said, no, she's a woman. Well, in South Africa, everybody knew about Mandela. He had been in jail for a long time already on Robben Island. And my father then heard that his wife, Winnie, had been banned to this very small town, very far away from Cape Town. My father decided that they, that he and my mother would go and try to visit Winnie Mandela. Um, this was more difficult than you would think because she had a monthly visit with Nelson Mandela, her husband, on Robben Island, but she had to fly from the Orange Free State, where she was, to the Cape, and she needed a house to stay at. My family, including me, would drive Winnie to where Nelson was, Nelson had by then been moved to uh, an inland prison called Polesmoor and we would drive her there, wait for her outside and then take her back home. All the while with security police following us. After his endeavour with Mandela, Javier wrote his memoirs as a book titled Peacemaking in South Africa, A Life in Conflict and Resolution. This book featured a foreword by Nelson Mandela and talks how in 1984 he was the first to arrange meetings between the Dem Band African National Congress, who were in exile, and South African newspaper editors. Here we have a home interview with Javier where he talks about his life. Uh, well, 1984 was the year in which uh, Thabo Mbeki, who is our current president, uh, asked me if I will help them to meet the government. They were still in exile, they were only unbanned in 1990. And uh, in those days, uh, nobody expected the government would talk to the ANC. And uh, nobody expected the ANC would be willing. Yes. And uh, so that was the first time that uh, the ANC officially asked me. Before that, I have built up uh, close relations with AMC leaders in uh, especially in London and uh, on the other hand on the government side I had known uh, from personal discussions with uh, top leaders in the cabinet and in the national party that the government is willing to talk to the ANC but they do not dare say it publicly yes. because for for decades they've said they will not talk to them because they are terrorists 
This has been the look of the life of Professor Hendrik Wilhelm van der Merwe, someone who started off with a hatred of those different to him, but later became a strong friend of one of the most famous people alive, Nelson Mandela. <laughs>